Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to John, I'm going to be doing another American taste test. So let's get started. There's something I'm looking forward to in this video a lot. For some reason, this here is just screaming out to me and it's a unicorn cupcake. It's from Duncan Hind. It's looking very magical and very tempting and very artificial and I love all of those things. I want to start off with something good. I need a bit of a pick-me-up today. I've hurt my foot. Step down on my foot and it's just like, oh, uh, uh. Duncan's Highs Unicorn Cupcake. Look at how beautiful it is. It's got these little sprinkles here, as you can see. Is it pink? Yes. Fill it up to that line in there with cold water. Okay, I've got the water in here and then mix it around. You know what I'm pretty devastated about right now? I've realized there's no icing. It's just sprinkles that go on top. Okay, so you can see the consistency of it. Put in the microwave for a minute. In the meantime, I'm going to show you these sprinkles. Oi, oi. No, oh, it's so magical. Obviously you have to sit it for a little bit when it comes out of the microwave. It says sit for two minutes. How good does that look? I just want to eat these by themselves. How's my pimple going? It's ready. Oh, it's ready. How cool is that? Here's the Unicorn Microwave Cupcake. Doesn't it look gorgeous? And it feels quite light and fluffy in here. I'm going to attempt to get this out of here. I want to show you it properly. Wow. How cool is that? It's actually really light and fluffy. Now, it says that you just put these sprinkles on the top, but I'm not happy with that because a cupcake to me is not a cupcake and it's got icing on it. So I quickly made some icing just for one cupcake in my little hand mixer thing because I didn't want to have cupcake without icing. Why should we? It's a unicorn cupcake. It needs icing. So we just sort of do that. And I hope this is going to work. Oh, look at this. It's working beautifully. question is, did I make enough for one cupcake? I think I did. And I could have done that better. You get the idea. These balls, I'm just going to place them on here because otherwise it's just going to get ugly. Place your little balls on the cake. Now, there's a lot of sprinkles in here for the amount of cupcake you get. Actually too much. You could keep those and save some for later, I think. Yeah, because I reckon that's enough. You don't want it to be completely sprinkles, do you? I don't know why I've got all these rules with this cupcake today, but I do. Oh my gosh. Get out how gorgeous does it look. I love it so much. I love it so much. I'm using my monster voice. That's how you know I really like something. I know I've cheated by putting the icing on it, but do you blame me? Is it going to be strawberry flavor? It actually doesn't tell me what flavor it is. Uh, uh. Oh, wow. Gosh, this is good. It's so good. Mmm. Oh. The cupcake itself is so light and spongy. It's amazing. And then inside there, I don't know if you can see those little white bits. It's not strawberry flavor. Oh, that's chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of magical that you can make this in the microwave. I don't know how those sprinkles were supposed... Oh, I see. See, what they do is they put it in the cup and then you eat it out of the cup with some sprinkles. But honestly, put some icing on it because I think it just brings it up to that next level. Because if you want a unicorn cupcake, that's how you want it to look, really. It's light, it's spongy, it's airy. This is so much better than what I thought it was going to be. Can I just say, I've done a good thing by putting that icing on there. Let me know in the comments below if you think that was the right thing to do. It feels magical. It doesn't taste like strawberry or anything. It actually is just vanilla, but it's really good. Caramel Sea Salt Turtles Bar, and it's from Demitz. It's the original caramel nut cluster. Are there three in here? That seems to be the going number. It opened really easily. They look beautiful. Look at that milk chocolate. Oh! Mmm. Wow! Mmm. It's a beautiful combination of stuff in here. It's got a flowing caramel. It's surrounded by milk chocolate. There's nuts in there. There's a hint of salt in the caramel, just enough. And you've got nuts as well. What more could you ask for? This is really delicious. It's a little bit like a Snickers bar, really tasty. Mm. And the caramel in it has a really good stretch as well. You know how you go, mm. Wow. Yeah, look, I'd definitely eat this again. Really good. I've got two things featuring Stubbs sauce here. Stubbs Original Barbecue Seasoned Almonds and her Stubbs Original Barbecue Potato Chips. Start with these nuts. They have a nice smoky smell about them. Mmm. 
They've got a flavoured salted barbecue stuff on the outside of the almond. The almonds themselves are really fresh and crunchy. There's not a lot of flavour here. Like it's there, but I'd like it to be stronger. Mmm. Now yeah, see, I keep eating more of them hoping to get more flavour, but it's just very subtle through these. What flavour I am getting, I'm really enjoying. Let's try the Her Stubbs barbecue flavoured chips. I went to call them Chris, watch out. Oh, look at the colour of these, they're gorgeous. Oh yes. Whoops. One for my phone. They look good. Mmm. 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 See, these have that beautiful smoky barbecue flavour that I was wanting from those almonds. Flavour's really good. They're nice and salty. Those little ridges hold onto the flavour really well. That's a good potato chip. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, they've got a real lovely smokiness on the finish of them. Delicious. I'd eat these again. I just dove into the corner because you know how sometimes the salt and the flavouring goes right down to those corner and those little bits at the bottom of the bag? And I went for those and they were so good. America really does savoury snacks well. Time for a beverage break and today I have a chocolate Yahoo drink. There are three of these in the pack. I have refrigerated these. Oh, no, I don't want to stab the container. Whoops. Oh gosh. Came so close to piercing that then. Look at that cute little container. It's gorgeous and it's got its little own individual straw. Yep, plonk that out. Look at how easily I did that. I'm looking forward to this. I'm feeling like I'm suddenly a kid with my unicorn cupcake and my chocolate milk. I want you to see the colour of this. This could get awkward and ugly. I'm going to foof it out of its foofy hole through the straw into the glass. I hope this works. Oops! Oh, oh sugar, sugar! Oh no! It's foofing out its hole through the straw and it's sort of... Oh, it's awkward. Oh my gosh! Oh! It gives you a good look at the colour of it. Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. Mmm. It's got calcium and vitamin D. It says it's rich in it. I don't think that this is the best chocolate milk I've ever had. But is it chocolatey? Yes, it's chocolatey enough. The milk itself is quite thin and watery. I suppose that's so they can make it long life, which makes sense. There's 90 calories in this pack, by the way. That's not bad. Yeah, the chocolate milk itself is pretty good. Well, it actually just says chocolate drink. It doesn't say chocolate milk, but it's, it's obviously milk, isn't it? It is quite watery, but it is chocolatey enough. Flavour-wise, it's good. So yeah, happy with this one. Marichan Yaki Soda, and this is cheddar cheese flavour. Japanese home-style noodle. It's got the instructions on the back here. So let's make it. It's really easy instructions on this. It's even got a picture of a microwave telling me that it's only four minutes, and bam, just like magic. Instructions also on the back there. Take this off. easy the instructions on this really simple pull this back halfway oh there's a flavored thing in there does that go before or after you put this in after you've cooked it interesting add the water it says fill line here and it's got two little arrows pointing down to that little mark put in the microwave for four minutes <laughs> meanwhile let's just open this up and have a look at powder Oh, looks very cheesy. And oh, it smells really nice. You know what this smells like? Cheetos. Obviously, this is a snack. It's not something that you have as a meal. Although, if you added extra vegetables and stuff, you could have it as a meal. Put it in this tray because it's still a little bit hot. Take the lid off. So, I just sprinkle this around in here. That's a lot of, lot of flavouring stuff that's going in there. Awkward. Stir this around with the... Yeah, gosh. I don't know if I'm just making this look more awkward than it is, or um, it is actually this awkward. <laughs> like, oh, let me know in the comments below. You have to put it down to mix it around a bit because things are happening here that you just don't understand. I got it wrong. Mix in the powdered flavoring. Enjoy. No, no, you just mix in the flavoring and enjoy. I mean, my flavoring in here has gone a little bit gluggy and I'm not sure if that's normal. Maybe it's supposed to have chunks in it like that. <laughs> Tell it. So there's mine looking a little bit blobbier than I expected. Did I just not mix it in? I don't know what I've done wrong. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Mmm. Uh. Mm. Well, look, I don't know. Maybe it's not supposed to have chunky little orange bits in it like that, but it tastes pretty good. Is that chunky bit? 
the chunky bits like cheesy and powdery at the same time but not too powdery that it's not unenjoyable mm. why have I got all these weird little blobby bits in there it's not actually it's not too powdery inside oh yeah it is it tastes like someone's dropped some Cheetos in my noodles but I don't mind it because I quite like the flavor of it because it's salty and it's noodles there's nothing about this that is good for you but I'm still enjoying it and I know I've probably done this wrong but the flavor is still there there's only five instructions yet I've managed to stuff it up somewhere it is more like a snacky sort of thing because it's like Cheetos and noodles together but it's really quite flavorsome mm. Larry the Cable Guy is back with some potato chips and this one is barbecue rib tater chips. More chips, less bag. Be interesting to see how these compare to these ones. Oh, got a good color on them. They're a thin potato chip. Ooh. Mm. they're crispy they're smoky they've also got a little tiny hint of sweetness in there as well the barbecue flavor is done really nicely in this potato chip I really don't know what my favorite is compared to the two because they are quite different even though it's the same similar sort of flavor this one is smokier I think it's got a deep dark rich smokiness to it this one is smoky but then it also has a little bit of sweetness that pings on the end of it I quite like these ones I like both mm. Mm, mm. Um, maybe these are a tad too sweet for my liking but they're still very nice would I eat them again would I buy them again yes and yes delicious Arizona fruit snacks and then mixed fruit there's 90 calories in this bag as why has everything got 90 calories in it what's going on I don't even know how many calories you're actually supposed to eat a day I do know that I probably eat over that amount fruit punch macho mango watermelon grape aid grape aid grape aid read it first as grandpa <laughs> You don't mind saying this grandpa flavored orangeinade I feel like they just made up some flavors on the end here but you can read those for yourself because obviously I can't read very well today I do have my glasses with me for a change today will that help no no see unfortunately I'm still dyslexic <laughs> Certain combinations of letters together sort of make things spin more I don't know why oh they look quite natural they all look pretty much the same color how am I ever going to work out the different ones I've got five flavors in here that's going to be hard can you find the five flavors in there looking at it no see see how hard it is they are all looking the same oh stop it look I'm not going to find the five flavors I'm just going to try them and guess what they are mmm that's nice mm. that one tastes grapeish Oh, definitely an orange flavor. Mmm. Mmm, watermelon. That one's really good. I really managed to find the flavors well. Shouldn't speak too soon because I've got two to go. Mango, yes! Oh, please be fruit punch. It's not it's grape aid again. That's all right. The flavor on these is really good. The gummy candy is a good consistency. It doesn't boiling around too much. It says that they're fruit snacks. And does that just mean gummy candies? Are they just disguising this to be fruit when it's not? I think they're delicious. The flavors are really nicely done in them as well. Hard to work out which one's which though when you're actually looking at them all together. And I don't know if that's just me. Can you work that out easily? No? Good. It's actually got two different shapes in here. What am I looking at? No, that I still can't read that. Oh, yes, I can oh yeah yeah okay I've worked out what these are now so this one here actually says Arizona on it and this one is their logo or their emblem that they use on their packaging that little thing there very nice thank you so much John for sending me all of these amazing American treats I really do appreciate it and if everyone in the comments below could please thank John because without him this taste test would not be possible thank you so much for watching everyone have a great week and I'll see you next time bye